for capture of CO2 from uh, humid flue gases, CALF 20 or Calgary Framework 20 is of uh, industrial significance. An important advantage that is claimed in the uh, science paper by Shimizu, Rajendran and co-workers is that uh, the use of CALF 20 uh, results in suppression of uh, the uh, water uptake within um, CALF 20 and this suppression of water is an important advantage of uh, the use of CALF 20 for um, CO2 capture applications. The uh, remark made in the science paper is uh, repeated here. The distinct shift in the water isotherm in the presence of CO2 compared to the pure component isotherm also confirmed the suppression of water by CO2. What is referred to are the uh, component loadings for water for mixture adsorption from uh, CO2 water mixtures shown by the uh, blue triangles. The uh, red circles indicate the uh, component loadings for uh, CO2 within the adsorb phase. These component loadings were determined from uh, breakthrough experiments conducted at the University of Alberta and reported in the uh, Industrial Engineering Chemistry Research paper listed here. The continuous blue line indicates the urinary um, isotherm for water as a function of the percentage relative humidity. And we note that the loading for water within the adsorb phase for, for mixture adsorption is lower than the urinary loading for uh, pure water, leading uh, Shimizu and co-workers to, uh, to write the distinct shift in the water isotherm in the presence of CO2 compared to its uh, pure component isotherm, indicated by the blue line, also confirmed the suppression of water absorption by CO2. This claimed water suppression phenomena due pre to presence of CO2 is uh, a plus point claimed for the use of CAF-22. I have uh, two remarks uh, on this uh, um, comment by Shimizu and co-workers. Firstly, um, the component loadings uh, that are uh, reported in the science paper and also in the paper by Nguyen are determined from um, breakthrough experiments that are not con uh, conducted under perfect thermodynamic equilibrium conditions. And certainly these experiments are not isothermal in character. And um, as a result, we see that the component loadings for mixture absorption, as reported in the uh, papers listed here, exceed the unary loading. And such uh, phenomena is almost uh, impossible to model using uh, uh, currently available theories for mixture adsorption equilibrium. Another point to note is that the claim regarding the suppression of water adsorption due to CO2 is uh, made on the basis of uh, comparing the urinary water isotherm with the uh, loadings for mixture adsorption. Strictly speaking, you should compare the uh, 
water loadings for mixture absorption with the corresponding uh, values that are uh, estimated from the ideal absorbed solution theory. And these are indicated by the uh, dashed lines here. And we note that for um, relative humidities lower than about 45%, the component loadings of water in the adsorbed phase are lower than the uh, values anticipated by the use of the ideal adsorbed solution theory. Therefore, the claim regarding uh, water suppression by CO2 is valid for uh, low values of uh, percentage relative humidity values lower than about, say, 45%. For values of uh, percentage relative humidity larger than 45%, we see that the uh, water loadings for mixture absorption exceed those from the ideal absorbed solution theory. And there is no question here of uh, suppression of water absorption. Rather, we note that the uh, uh, Component loading for CO2 in the adsorbed phase is lower than the uh, CO2 estimates from the ideal adsorbed solution theory. So uh, for high values of relative humidity, we can uh, talk about suppression of CO2 adsorption due to presence of water in the bulk gas mixture. A better way to represent these results is to plot the mole fraction of CO2 in the adsorbed phase on the y-axis as a function of the relative humidity. And I sh sh draw a, uh, a line to indicate the existence of two different scenarios. For scenario in which uh, the relative humidity is less than about uh, 45 percent, the uh, CO2 in the adsorbed phase is richer than anticipated by the IAST. On the other hand, for high values of relative uh, humidity greater than, uh, say, 45 percent, the uh, mole fraction of CO2 in the adsorbed phase is poorer in CO2 than anticipated by the uh, ideal adsorbed solution theory. Two important messages here. One is the abject failure of the IAST to uh, quantitatively explain the experimental data on CO2 water mixture absorption in CAF20. And the second is that uh, there are two different scenarios to, uh, to consider. Scenario one to the left of this uh, line at low percentage relative humidities, lower than say 45%, where we have um, richer CO2 in the adsorbed phase, i.e. poorer water in the adsorbed phase, and another scenario that manifests at high values of a percentage relative humidity greater than, say, about uh, 45%, wherein uh, the adsorbed phase is poorer in uh, CO2, but much richer in water than anticipated by the uh, IAST. In the published literature, there is no clear explanation of uh, why the IAST fails um, and in two different uh, um, manners at 
low relative humidity. We have a top phase that is richer in CO2 and poorer in water than uh, anticipated on the basis of thermodynamic um, equilibrium and the use of the IAST. However, for high values of relative uh, humidity, the adsorb phase is uh, richer in water and poorer in CO2. In a paper I published with my colleague uh, Jasper from Barton, that is just available online, I uh, use uh, configurational bias Monte Carlo simulations to explain these two scenarios. And the objective of my presentation today is to uh, elucidate the uh, reasons for the failure of the ideal adsorption solution theory for CO2 water mixture adsorption in CAF20. This presentation is a follow-up to a previous presentation of mine on uh, competitive CO2 water adsorption in CAF20, a tutorial on the IAST. So uh, let's proceed in trying to explain these two different scenarios. To repeat myself once again, the science paper only stresses water suppression that is uh, prevalent at low values of percentage relative humidity. At higher values of percentage relative humidity, you could argue that there is suppression of um, CO2 due to presence of water in the bulk gas mixture. I want to explain both these phenomena on the basis of uh, molecular simulations. But uh, before we do that, let us understand the, uh, the uh, limitations and the requirements of the ideal adsorption solution theory. The accuracy and applicability of the ideal adsorption solution theory developed by Myers and Brausnitz relies on the uh, compliance with uh, a number of tenets that are demanded by the IAST. Firstly, all the adsorption sites within the microporous material are equally accessible to each of the gas molecules, implying a homogeneous distribution of gas adsorbates within the pore landscape. This also implies there is no segregation or congregation or preferential siting of uh, one or more gas molecules within the uh, MOF framework. Another important tenet of the IAST that there is no change in the specific area of each molecule due to mixture adsorption. And uh, this implies that uh, the occurrence of molecular clustering due to, say, hydrogen bonding would invalidate the uh, applicability of the IAST. I explain um, the failure of the IAST in um, several of my publications, including the uh, one in separation and purification technologies that is just available online. Watch also my um, video presentation on um, thermodynamic non-idealities in CO2 capture and the IAST on my uh, YouTube channel. In this paper in separation and purification technology, I present uh, data on um, configurational bias Monte Carlo simulations of uh, CO2 water mixture adsorption in pristine uh, crystals of CAF20. These uh, simulations were carried out at a temperature of 298 Kelvin at a uh, total uh, bulk fugacity of the mixture of 15 uh, kilopascals. 
the uh, composition of uh, water vapor in the bulk fluid phase is varied and uh, the component loadings for uh, CO2 and water indicated by the red circles and the blue triangles are plotted uh, here as a function of the percentage relative humidity. In this graph we have the urinary isotherms and the uh, fits of the urinary isotherm data using the dual site langmuir freundlich model. And uh, the CBMC simulations for mixture absorption confirm the fact that the uh, CO2 water mixture absorption shows strong deviations from the uh, predictions of the ideal absorption solution, ideal absorbed solution theory indicated by the uh, dashed lines here. For um, low values of uh, relative humidities, the uh, component loading of water in the adsorb phase is significantly lower than the uh, antis values anticipated by the IAST. However, for high values of uh, percentage relative humidity, the uh, adsorb phase is significantly poorer in CO2 and richer in water than anticipated by the IAST. Indeed, these uh, phenomena confirm the uh, CO2 water mixture absorption results published in the uh, science paper. And uh, just as uh, in the uh, experimental data from the science paper, I uh, used uh, a plot of the uh, mole fraction of CO2 in the adsorb phase versus percentage relative humidity to delineate the two different scenarios that prevail under conditions of low humidity and high humidity. For low humidity conditions, the adsorb phase is significantly richer in CO2 than uh, anticipated by the IEST and um, this also implies that the adsorb phase is significantly poorer in water than anticipated by the IAST. The scenario flips when we consider high humidity conditions where the adsorb phase is significantly poorer in CO2 and richer in water. The science paper stresses the water suppression scenario but does not emphasize or highlight the phenomena that is observed at high percentage relative humidities wherein uh, the absorption of CO2 is suppressed due to uh, the presence of water in the bulk gas mixture. I also uh, plot the same set of data here but rather than use the percentage relative humidity, I plot the uh, mole fraction of water in the bulk gas mixture. And um, I want to explain the deviations of the uh, molecular simulation results from the ideal absorption solution theory to understand what causes these uh, thermodynamic non-idealities. To do this, I... Uh, examine two different uh, set of conditions for mixture absorption. One in which the mole fraction of um, water in the bulk phase is 0 0.04 corresponding to the first scenario. Another one in which the mole fraction of water in the bulk gas phase is 0 0.06 corresponding to scenario two. Let's examine these two uh, sets of conditions and try to understand why the IAST fails. For the conditions uh, um, corresponding to scenario one in which the bulk 
phase mixture has a uh, partial uh, fugacity of CO2 of 14.4 kilopascals and uh, fugacity of uh, water of 0 0.6 kilopascal. We uh, determined the center to center distances of uh, the uh, various molecular pairs within the uh, CAF2 framework. The radial distribution functions for uh, water water pairs as a function of the center to center distance is shown by the blue line here, which shows that the uh, water the distance between uh, pairs of water molecules is about 3 angstrom. Let's look at uh, the corresponding values for the RDF, so the radial distribution functions for the CO2, CO2 pairs. These are indicated by the uh, red lines here. On, um, the peak occurs at a distance of uh, 6.5 angstrom. You can see that the uh, CO2, CO2 pairs are, uh, each CO2 molecule is located uh, near the O atoms of the oxalate groups of CAF20. And uh, the distance of separation of CO2 from um, another CO2 molecule is about six and a half. The uh, distance of separation of CO2 from water molecule, on the other hand, is indicated by the uh, black line, and the peak occurs at a distance of 8 angstrom. In other words, the uh, water molecules are far removed from the uh, CO2 molecules. Put another way, <coughs> CO2 does not face strong competition from water molecules because the distance of separation is uh, higher than the distance of separation with uh, um, the uh, neighboring CO2 molecule. So CO2, CO2 distance is approximately six and a half angstrom. CO2 water separation is uh, eight angstrom. So CO2 faces negligible competition from uh, the partner H2O molecules, and that explains why the adsorbed phase is richer in CO2 than anticipated by the IAST. The IAST <coughs> demands a homogeneous distribution of guest adsorbates within the pore landscape, no segregation. Whereas uh, within uh, the channels of CAF20, in scenario one, we have uh, segregation of CO2 and water molecules resulting in uh, enhanced CO2 absorption as uh, compared with uh, IAST predictions. The uh, situation uh, changes dramatically in uh, scenario two at high values of percentage relative humidity. I show here the radial distribution functions for uh, CO2 water absorption in which the uh, partial fugacity of uh, CO2 in the bulk gas mixture is 14.1 kilopascal. The partial fugacity of water in the uh, bulk gas uh, phase is 0 0.9 kilopascal. I plot here the uh, center to center distance of uh, water water pairs indicated by in blue and the 
CO2 water pairs indicated in black. The uh, distance of CO2 from uh, water molecules is 3 angstrom and uh, that can be uh, observed here where we see that uh, CO2 is in the company of two water molecules here and uh, the center to center distance of CO2 from water is uh, 3 angstrom and the center to center distance of uh, water from the neighboring water molecule is also 3 angstrom. Another important point to note is that the uh, two water molecules that are uh, shown here are hydrogen bonded to each other and to demonstrate that I plot here the distance of uh, oxygen from hydrogen for the pairs CO2 water indicated in black and for water and water molecules. You see that uh, for pairs of water molecules, there is a sharp peak at a distance of two angstrom. This sharp peak at a distance, OH distance of two angstrom is a characteristic of hydrogen bonding. So uh, CO2 at any adsorption site, which is the oxygen atom of the ox oxalate group, is uh, surrounded by two water molecules that are hydrogen bonded with each other. <coughs> the uh, hydrogen bonding of these two hydrogen mo um, water molecules results in uh, enhanced uh, water adsorption and uh, suppression of CO2 uh, absorption due to uh, the presence of water. The uh, IAST fails because uh, the IAST cannot handle molecular clustering due to hydrogen bonding. So in scenario two, the adsorbed phase is poorer in CO2 than anticipated from the IAST because of uh, the fact that uh, a CO2 molecules is surrounded by two water molecules that are hydrogen bonded to each other and CO2 faces a much stiffer competition than anticipated by the, C by the IAST. Scenario 1 and Scenario 2 are uh, completely different in character. Scenario 1 manifests at low values of percentage relative humidity. Scenario 2 manifests at high values of percentage relative humidity. The science paper of Shimizu and co-workers only highlight the uh, scenario one and water suppression and enhanced CO2 absorption um, that prevails under scenario one. I highlight in my uh, separation and purification technology paper the uh, existence and manifestation of the second scenario that uh, occurs under high values of uh, percentage relative humidity. <clears throat>